Once you finish the course, it's not supposed to be very complicated for you to jump into a contest like this because it's like a, a slight, you know, getting into contests like slightly not starting with a huge code base like Chainlink, you know, that have a lot of other modules, other contracts and a bit more advanced. So this is perfect. So I highly recommend you to, to just look out for this maybe smaller bounties contest. Maybe you can make some bucks, but it's more about getting the, the confidence and the skills before you jump to the, to the more like big code base, code bases and more advanced one. And this was the USSD contest. Yeah, 970 reports submitted. It was insane. So many reports submitted. And you can track all the issues here. We'll see how we do it and how we will track uh, all the issues that were reported. And yeah, so this is the USSD Autonomous Secure Dollar Contest. It was 18K, around 18K USDC contest in Sherlock. Uh, for the contesters, for the uh, Watsons, there was uh, 12K. 5k of it goes to the lead senior Watson. Uh, we have judging pool and lead judge. This lead judge, uh, poor guy, $600 for checking 970 submissions. I, I really, I'm really sorry for him because it's a lot of work. This guy, I also talked with him on Discord. And yeah, but sometimes, you know, it's also for him, it's a good experience because once you're a judge, you get to know uh, more how other people think. You see a lot of submissions, you have to classify them to see if they're valid or not. So there is also advantages of being a judge. So even though the, the payout here is not very high, but in future contests, it's probably going to be higher. And um, so this was the contest over here. Uh, this is Sherlock. If you're not familiar with it, you should be because we talked about it in the, uh, one of the first uh, lessons. Uh, like Code Arena, Sherlock is the other competitor. You have auditing contests. And here you have a lot of like uh, intro about the contest, a lot of QAA where the uh, Sherlock team, they ask the protocol questions about the protocol, about uh, which tokens it, it interacts with, uh, is there a fee on transfer, rebasing, all these kind of basic questions before the audit starts. So we, the auditors, have more information uh, before jumping into the audit. And there is always the audit scope. Pay attention that you are auditing only the scope because there are a lot of cases, mainly in bug bounties, where people go to audit other smart contracts that are not in scope and you might find spend a lot of time finding uh, valid um, vulnerabilities that eventually you won't get paid for. So this contest is not about getting paid. Uh, for us, it's more like a learning experience and enhancing our skills and strengthening them. And all